Hi, and welcome to TA100 Pro. Well, what you're looking at here, this is our control panel. This is, uh, controls all the functionality that you'll need in TA100 Pro. Uh, a lot of these uh, features in the TA100 Pro are all really nicely organized into this task organizer. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. The task organizer, you can see, has many different tasks, uh, such as your daily task. You may add on a new employee, have to pull the clocks, which can be done automatically for you. Fix any missing punches and absences is probably the biggest one. Monthly task, this can all be done automatically for you, but you may need to back up your data. Again, the system can take care of that for you. Annual task, the system's smart, but not smart enough to know the holidays from year to year. So you do want to come in here and just uh, basically add in your holidays for that year or, or for the next five years. You can program the clocks for daily savings time, uh, which again can be done automatically or even run reports automatically and sent through email. Payroll task, simple and straightforward. Pull your clocks, make sure you have the most up-to-date time. Fix any missing punches and absences. For every in punch, you want an out punch. Run reports to verify everything looks good here in our software, because once everything looks good here, you simply click on the export to payroll, and that's going to create a file, and that file will be in the format that your payroll software requires. System setup. Well, we actually take care of this for you, uh, but if you ever need to come in here, maybe add on a new shift or a new department, uh, or even just set up a new employee or, or uh, change some employees, you can come in here and gladly take care of any of those uh, adjustments if needed. And again, that was the task organizer. So let's close out of here. And we can go ahead and take and dive right into the employee information. Here in your employees, uh, basically you'll see the time card right here uh, with the list of your employees located right down the side. You have many different filters you can use here uh, if you need to. So uh, go ahead and just click on the employee. And you can see there's a couple different letters uh, next to their names, uh, especially here with Carol. She's got a couple missing punches. Uh, you can see this key down here. This key distinguishes what those letters stand for. Uh, and after using the software for a day or two, you'll actually know what they mean. So we have a missing punch here up on Monday. If I just double click, you'll have your time pop open, which will actually populate uh, with their schedule. So as you can see here, if everything looks good here, I can just let it go and say OK. But if I need to make any adjustments, I can use my keyboard, go up and down. I can punch in the number on my keyboard uh, specifically. Or I can just right click. And actually, let's say uh, she came in an hour late. So if I go in here, punch that in, and say OK, it now totals up my time for that day. I can even see there's one hour of unpaid uh, time for lunch that is automatically deducted. And you can have that or not have that if you want to. If I follow down to the bottom here, we can see all of our totals for the each day and then our totals for that uh, week there for us. Now you can also see there's an absence here on the 25th. Now we might want to come in here and actually put, post that in as a vacation. So if I go to multiple miscellaneous, I can come in here and do a drop down and select the appropriate type. And you can have all kinds of payable types, as you can see. I have a couple examples here. But I'm just going to put in a vacation day for eight hours. Again, I just right clicked. And then simply put that in for Tuesday the 25th. Once I apply that, oh, it's telling me there's a warning here. Now this warning is telling us that they're basically going from a zero balance and obviously subtracting the eight hours I'm just trying to take. And it's warning us saying, hey, this is going to go into the negative. Do you want to proceed? And I'm going to say sure. And once I say OK, the time will now be posted right to our time card. So let's go ahead and take a look at their schedule. Schedule here, you can basically just check the box or uncheck it if we want them to work. We can always just double click on the schedule and it will show us our schedule details. As you can see here, I just simply hit the drop down. I might have a couple standard shifts already set up. Uh, I can make them a floater, just means they're going to work that day, but maybe not a, necessarily a, a start time or end time. Uh, or select a different time that I've already set up. If you need to, you can actually come in here on the fly and just simply use a slide ruler and put in the appropriate time. Uh, and then I can even make sure that their labor allocation is correct, depending on what department or job they might want to belong to. Say OK. And you can see I just did a little quick shift override uh, because he's going to come in a little early for me. I also have uh, the vacation day I just posted in just a few minutes ago. And you can see that uh, with a nice little smiley face knowing they're going to have a nice, nice day on Tuesday. Another nice feature in the schedule section is uh, rotating shifts. Uh, so basically, just take a mirrored uh, week or a couple weeks or even a month, and you can actually take that whole month if you wanted to and rotate that schedule forward as far as you want into the future. Uh, so it's actually a really nice feature. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at the transactions. Transactions are anytime someone clocks in or clocks out, it creates a transaction. Uh, but a nice feature you can see here that there's a badge associated with that transaction. That means the employee actually clocked in or clocked out. But anytime you see there's no badge associated with it, that means that the systems uh, operator, or in this case, a supervisor, was the one that actually entered that information in. Now there's also a report you can actually run to keep track of any changes that are made in the system uh, for any adjustments, any deletions, and you can even have that report run automatically and sent to you whenever you feel like it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the status section. The status just lets you know what policy they belong to. You might have a full-time policy, part-time policy, or even a salary policy. And you can even mark people as inactive or active in case you have any seasonal workers. And if they come back on, just mark them as active again. It's like they never left. You can even change their policy if you need to or edit their policy as quickly as needed. Let's take a look at the benefits section. Benefits are any of your sick, vacation, PTO, um, or even personal days. Here you can see what you've given them, what they've actually taken, what they have pending on the future, and even take that all three of those and do the math and you can find out exactly what you have left over right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the message section. Message section basically allows you to see what the employee is going to see when they clock in or clock out at a terminal. So in this case, uh, they'll see their first initial last name. And if you need to, you can come in here and edit that uh, or add a new message to them at any point in time. Let's go ahead and take a look at the wages. Wages, you don't have to keep the wages in the software. It's up to you. Most people keep track of them in the payroll software. Uh, but feel free to actually come in here and do any kind of department level wages. If you want to track their salary, you can do global wages. Uh, and you can even do some budgeting too. Let's go ahead over to the badge section. As you probably may or may not already know, sometimes people lose badges. Well, in this case, you can come down here, edit that badge, and mark it as invalid. And in case they find that badge again, you can just mark it as valid again, and they can continue to use their old badge. Let's go ahead and take a look at the clock section. If you have more than one clock, that clock may determine what location they're in, or even determine what department they're in. So you might want to define people to only be able to clock in and out at one clock. Let's go ahead and take a look at the details. Here in the detailed section, if I come down to edit, first name, last name, employee number, and their hire date are the only thing we do require. Everything else in here is just an extra bonus for you. We even give you six user definable fields that you can plug in anything you like. From this point, you can also grant access to what we call PC clock. This allows your employees to click on a shortcut and clock in and out via a shortcut from their desktop. Let's go ahead and just say OK and we'll close out of here. And again, that was the employee section. Let's go ahead and take a look at the approval editor. Here in the approval editor, if I click on all, we'll see any of our missing punches and absences. Uh, we do have a few here that we might want to take care of. The nice thing is once you do, you just click on their name. It takes you right to their time card. You can even see right where the occurrence took place. Again, double click. Opens up their field. You can have it in an AM, PM format if you prefer. It defaults to military. But once I make sure everything looks good there, say OK again, that punch is now taken care of. Again, fix one more punch. It's taken care of. I can also take a look at their schedule if I need to, or, or even their transactions. And again, once I close out of here, you can now see Carol's name has now disappeared from the list. This is really the one major thing you want to take care of before you run payroll. For every in-punch, you do want to have an out-punch. Let's go ahead and close right out of here. Again, that was the approval letter. Another nice feature is the status board. This just allows you to see who's working or who's not. Unfortunately, I don't have anybody working for me right now, but if they did, they'd have the green little dot located right in the work section. We can also see the last date and time that someone's clocked in or clocked out, and you can even see what clock they used. And at any point in time, if you need to, you can actually print this out um, for emergency purposes. Let's go ahead and close out of here. The polling section, really, you don't have to do anything here. This allows you to manually pull the clocks, uh, but the system can, again, automatically take care of the polling process via the auto process feature. The auto process feature also allows you to run reports automatically. So let's go ahead and take a look at the reports. You'll see tons of different reports here, such as time cards, a bunch of different summary reports, actual versus budget if you want to do any budgeting, benefits, overtime hours, we got our weeklies. Uh, such as weekly hours, approaching weekly overtime, which is a really nice one. 
and we even have our dailies who's in who's not in by shift uh, a ton of them you can also take a look at the listings listings allow you to see badge listings uh, message listings even your benefits and even address listings so uh, it covers a lot of different information you can even see a transaction listings uh, which again is your audit trail and if I want to I can take a look at a time card report simply hit run you then have a few selections within the parameters you can select the date range if you need to you can select employees you can select a certain individual just by double clicking on them or at all say OK here and again we have a couple different parameters that we can use uh, the nice thing is what we can do is output right to the screen to a printer to a file uh, or send it to someone's email if we need to I'm going to say OK here again here's a uh, time card report we have Carol here with her start and stop times her total hours for each day I can even follow down here we got the totals if you want you can even print this out and have them sign off on this specific report again any of these reports you like you just basically set the parameters once you can have those reports automatically generated for you in the auto process feature and this concludes the demonstration for T1R Pro enjoy your day